Um, my name is Georgina Arias. I'm with the Transportation Department at UCSF. I am the Transportation Demand Manager. So I'm here to assist you with your commute. And today we're going to talk about ways on how you can save, uh, save on your commute costs with pre-tax commuter benefits. I wanna remind you that CLS is hosting several short webinars to present scoops of information to get our community up to date on the goings on at UCSF. For event information and how to join, go online to the UCSF events calendar at calendar.ucsf.edu and look for the scoop logo. There are three coming up and one that's special to me is on parking, which is tomorrow at lunchtime, but there are two others. Quick question and put this in the chat if you know the answer or you have an idea what the answer might be. What costs are covered by pre-tax commuter benefits? There are many, so please put them in the chat. I'm gonna give you the first one. And I think a lot of you already know the answers to these. Yes, all forms of public transportation. Yes, there are many fees that are covered by pre-tax commuter benefits and we'll go through that in the webinar. Many of you answered public transportation. And that includes bus, BART, Caltrain, ferry, uh, light rail, both for Muni and VTA, uh, van pool expenses, and parking expenses. How it works. So how do pre-tax commuter benefits work? Everyone who commutes to work knows that it's expensive. Whether you take BART or drive and park, the cost of commuting is a necessity built into your budget. You can set aside tax-free money through UCSF to help pay for those costs. The cost of your commute are taken out of your paycheck before taxes are deducted. This means that you reduce your taxable income, keeping more of your money in your pocket. Pre-tax money that you set aside can be used to pay for public transportation, including van pools and parking. How much can you spend? You can set aside up to $280 per month on transit expenses and up to $280 per month on parking expenses. The IRS reviews this amount yearly, setting higher limits on average about $5 each year is in increased. The, also, the IRS also designates what these funds can be spent on. Keep in mind that transit and parking funds are considered two separate buckets. Be sure to calculate both your transit and parking expenses separately and choose contributions accordingly. How can you get started? Start at the UCSF transportation webpage for pre-tax commuter benefits. There you will find step-by-step -step instructions on how to enroll for the first time and how to manage your account. The first time you enroll, you'll be asked for the UCSF company ID and all of that information, including step-by-step -step instructions is on the UCSF webpage. The timeline for these contributions. Every month, users can enroll or manage their account by the 23rd of the month. Changes made by say April 23rd will take effect in payroll deductions in May and you'll have those funds available for use in June. Our team at Eden Red joins us today and, I'll be, and they will be walking us through enrolling online and managing your account. I'd like to welcome Pam Preston and Jackie Mele. I'm gonna stop sharing for just a moment. Hey everyone, thank you so much for inviting um, myself to hop on and walk you through what that process would look like. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Um, everyone can see this okay? Yep. Yes. Perfect. All right. So um, when you come on to our site and you're ready to sign up and place your order for the first time, again, that deadline is super important. 
That deadline for your group is going to be April 23rd to go in and place your orders for that June deadline. And that's going to be 1159 Eastern. We're over on the East Coast here, so that's why it shows Eastern. Um, so please just make sure you calculate what your expenses are that you think you'll be using for your transit or your parking expenses by April 23rd to get the benefit on June 1st. Um, let, me, let me try to shrink my page here. Um, so for those of you who are on, who have, who's signed up with us already, um, you can always review your order history. We'll keep track of that in your account for you so you can always reference those um, orders that you may have placed in the past. But to place your June order, if you haven't done so already, you're just gonna come to this place an order button here. And what we'll do is we'll ask you, how do you commute to work each day? And you can start with picking one option first, and then you'll be given the option to select the other option later. So you're not stuck with just picking one over the other. And to get started, I'm gonna say I take public transit. And our debit card is going to be that most flexible option for you to use. So you'll go ahead and select that. What happens is, at least if it's your first benefit month, we're gonna go ahead and mail this debit card directly to your home address. Um, we'll load it with what your monthly transit expenses are. So you'll go ahead and tell us what you estimate your monthly transit expense will be. Um, we'll also ask for your date of birth. And the reason for this is if you were to contact my customer service team saying either you didn't receive this debit card or it got lost or stolen, this is how we verify how we're speaking to the right person. So we'll ask you to enter in your date of birth will ask automatically place this order each month. And if you say yes, we'll go ahead and keep depositing um, what you've set aside as a monthly expense to your debit card for you. We'll also ask, are there months that you do not need this order for? And maybe in the month of July, you're going on sabbatical, you don't need that monthly amount. We'll go ahead and skip that month of loading for you. Um, but you can go ahead, you can say no, there are no months that you don't need this order for as well. And when you're all set, you can go ahead and click next. Now, one thing I like to, to share about this prepaid card is that it's not like a standard credit card where there's a line of credit attached to it. Um, this is a prepaid card, so it'll only, you can only use transactions up to the balance that you have on your card but you can always review your balance directly on our site or through our mobile app um, for this MasterCard. For this now, just to show you what that parking piece looks like, it's very simple, very straightforward, just like it was for the transit. You'll select that parking MasterCard. For those that order both transit and parking, you'll only receive one debit card from us, but internally we'll know what funds are available for transit and what funds are available for parking. So in this case, I'm going to say my monthly parking expense is $200. We'll go ahead, enter in my date of birth again. We'll say automatically place this order each month. It can be set to yes. If you select no, it just lets you know that you need to come in next month and place a new order if you do not automatically place that order monthly. And when you're all set, we'll just click next. And at this point, just like regular online shopping that you may do, we're going to show you your shopping cart. Um, if everything looks good and this is what you need for the month of June, you can proceed to check out. Here, it's going to have you input your delivery address because we want to make sure we have the best address on file to mail this debit card to. Um, so I'm going to say this is my address. And what we'll do too is we'll verify this address with this with the United States Postal Service. So you'll see here it tells me this address is invalid. This is a fake address, that's why. Um, but it will give you options if there's a better fit address. So for example, I can select that option. And now at this point, you'll see your transit order outlined here. You'll see your parking order outlined. We give you that order summary showing you um, what your product amount is, your pre-tax contribution and your order totals. And if all of this looks okay and correct for you, you're just gonna check this, I have read and agree to our terms of service. And this just says that the above order is correct and that your employer can deduct these funds pre-tax from your paycheck. And when you're all set, we'll just click place order. At this point, it lets you know that your order is complete and that you can go to your dashboard to check the status of your order. Um, at this point, you'll have until April 23rd to come back in and make any changes. If maybe this amount was too little or too much, 
If you needed to edit this amount, you can come to this options here and click on edit order. And then you can update these amounts if you need to. Again, you can increase or decrease. Now you'll see that new amount there. Maybe you don't need parking anymore. Um, you can also delete your order by coming in at any point in time and just hovering over options and clicking delete. And we'll ask you, um, did you know that you can opt out of months that you don't need? So you can opt out or you can delete your order altogether. And we'll go ahead and delete order. There's multiple methods um, of going in and managing your account. Um, like I mentioned before, we also have a mobile app that you can manage your account to view your transaction or your balance history on your card. Um, as well, once that card gets in, distributed for the first time, there'll be a new option here that says card management, and that's where you can view the balance and transaction account. Um, but over here on the left-hand side of the page, we have your account. You can see your order history if you have any orders. Um, you can review your benefit overview, showing what type of products are available. And then this is where you can update your contact information with your email or your delivery address. Um, our support team is great. If you have any questions, whether it be utilizing that debit card, you have a question on your balance or even placing an order, you can come and contact us. We're available Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern time. Um, you can also send us a message directly from this account here. And that's pretty much the employee ordering site and how you would go about placing your order. Thank you, Jackie. Hi, everyone. This is Pam from Eden Red. Um, I'm just going through the chat. And um, Georgina, if this is OK with you, I just want to read some of the chat questions. And um, we, maybe we can answer them one at a time. So the first one that I'm looking at is Julia. Julia Dunn. Um, is there any sort of calculator that would allow us to preview what our net paycheck amount would look like if we took out a certain amount of money for pre-tax commuter benefits? So we have a calculator on our website that can share what your annual savings would be, taking into consideration the state that you live in and your salary. It can estimate what your annual savings would be on a pre-tax basis for this benefit. Um, I'm going to get that link and I'll post it in the chat so that way anyone who'd like to kind of play around and figure out what their savings would be, um, you'll be able to do so. Okay, so Monica, do I get a new card every month or will my card refill every month? That's a great question. It's going to refill every month. So you do not get a new card. Once you get your first card with us and it is activated, you're going to use that card month after month, year after year. Our cards, I believe, are valid for about three years, so you'll keep them for a while. Um, but again, if you need to request a replacement, um, you can do so through your account with us, or you can contact our team to request that. So Julia, again, then I, then, then I can just input this debit card information when refilling my Clipper account, is that right? Correct. So you can either have this debit card be your funding mechanism on the back end with Clipper, um, as well, you can use it for one-off situations, maybe at the station to load your Clipper card. But yes, our debit card is going to be your funding mechanism to purchase your bar tickets, to load your Clipper card, things like that. So Mary Kate um, wants to know if they, can you use the parking on the weekends, and that's um, client specific. I don't know the answer to that. Do, do you, Jackie or Georgina? Do you want to chime in on that? I can chime in. Yes, UCSF parking is open on the weekends, and parking rates are valid on weekends as well. Okay, thank you. Um, can we alter after four twenty three with our commuter needs change in the coming months? Oh, so Krista, I guess Krista is asking if she does a recurring um, order prior to 423 and wants to change 523, 623, 723, can she do that? Yeah, so as long as you come in before that cutoff date for that next available benefit month, you can go ahead and make changes at any point in time. So for instance, if you came in on May 1st to edit or to change your order, that's going to be reflective for the July benefit month. So just keep in mind that kind of time period that you have to place your elections with us and when it will be available for you to utilize. 
but you can access the site at any point in time and place orders. We'll show you exactly which month you're making changes for, so at least you know and you can plan accordingly. Okay, thank you, Jackie. Um, again from Monica, would it ever be possible to remove funds from the debit card? For example, if we leave UCSF or move closer and no longer need to pay for commuting? That's a very good question. I'd have to, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know the answer off the top of my head, um, at least for, for this group here. So that's something that we can definitely get back to you on um, after this call. I have an answer for that. Thank you. <laughs> um, all you have to do is call Eden Red and tell them that you, you either you want to close your account and then those that will start the process to have the funds return to UCSF payroll and you'll get that back as a check is say if you're leaving UCSF. Um, if you realize that you don't need as much funding, you can elect out of several months or you can just you know kind of choose to postpone it indefinitely until you spend down that money. That card is valid even if you don't, even if you're no longer with UCSF. Those funds are still sitting on the card. You just won't be able to add more, you know, payroll funds. So there are ways to utilize your funds or to get that funds back. Thank you. And I have one last slide, but did you want to go through the chat or should I hit that one last slide? Um, I think actually the chat is pretty much done. Let me just look and make sure that we got everything. Um, I think it's pretty much done. Um, so go ahead, Georgina. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just thought maybe we this would be a good time to address the chat issues. I'm, I'm sorry, but yeah. The timing was great. The timing All was right. great. Thank you. Awesome. Me, good. That one last slide and we'll be able to handle uh, some of the other transit and parking questions in the chat. Okay. All right, so thank you, Jackie and Pam and Arlene for jumping in. Um, I think a lot of you may have questions of how you can spend funds. So once you have your Eden Red commuter benefit card in your hand, it is a prepaid card, your name is, is on it. It is accepted anywhere MasterCard is accepted for paying for transit and parking um, costs. So for transit, this is a prepaid card. There, there are money on the card. So um, it, it is reloadable and it is accepted at all transit agencies and designated retail centers where only transit passes, tickets and bear cards are sold or at vending machines. So if you go to BART and you're buying a ticket at the kiosk, use this card. If you're uh, loading your Clipper card, this is your payment method to reload that Clipper card. Um, if you are, uh, buying your, your Muni or BART card through a mobile app, this is the card you use as a payment method. You can also use it to um, say buy a reoccurring monthly you know, Muni pass or Caltrain pass. This is your payment method. For parking, the Eden Red card can be used as a payment method for parking. For UCSF parking facilities, use pay by phone or paymyinvoice.ucsf.edu. And this is how you will pay for these parking fees. The Eden Red card can also be used at non-UCSF parking facilities um, and at parking meters. So let's go back to our questions. Okay, so let's see here. Niaz Mohammed, Mohammedab, I'm not gonna even say your last name, wants to know, I apologize, can we use this for Uber rides, Georgina? Oh, yes. So when Uber and Lyft, you know, shared rides begin again, and we're expecting that in this year, but it's really up to those companies, um, you can use your pre-tax commuter benefits card as a payment method. When you are leaving campus and it is a pool or shared ride. Um, Arlene, could you go through the chat, please? Yes, so a good question here is what if they purchase a Caltrain ticket that includes transit and parking bundled into one, how would that be handled? That's a good question and no one's asked me that before. Um, so your one card has both your transit and your parking even red accounts on the same card. So use that card to make your payment. And I'm just going to say, give it a try and see what works. Uh, it should work. 
even though it's transit and parking, I'm not sure how Eden Red sorts that out, but um, the card should work to pay for the for that special pass. We okay. actually do, we have two, what we call purses in the background. So, um, you know, the, the funds are actually separated in the background in the system, the card knows when you swipe it, where to pull the funds from. So we, we do keep them separate in the background. Thank you. Okay, another question here about how best to request a replacement card. I know that would be done through Eden Red. Yeah, so there's a couple different ways you can go about it. When you're logged into your commuter account with Eden Red, you'll want to go to the card management tab that's going to be on the left hand side. There, it's going to give you details about your card, like when it was issued and when it was expired. And from there is where you can request to get a replacement card. Um, but as well, you can also call our teams too, and they can handle that request over the phone as well. Great, thank you. Another question is, are there administrative fees? I believe there is on the account for transit. I believe it's a $3 fee that um, you'll be billed for when you enroll in the transit piece. And every month that you elect to have a deduction, it's a $3 fee that goes to Eden Red, regardless of whether it's parking or transit. So if you choose to temporarily you know, turn off your Eden Red, you won't be charged those $3. Okay, another question here is, do the funds ever expire? No, so they do roll over month after month, year after year for you. Um, sometimes we get this question when people are thinking of like an FSA account where at the end of the year, if you don't use your funds, you lose them. This benefit is completely different from that. So as long as you're still a valid employee, the funds will just keep rolling over month after month for you to use. Okay, great. Another question here is specific to ferry passes on the hop through app. Um, is there a way to, add, apparently this person is not able to purchase the ferry passes through the hop through app. Is there a way to add this to the prepaid card? Do you guys have any recommendations here? Yeah, so I'm going to be honest, I actually haven't heard of this app before, um, but what I can do is I can take it to my card management folks and have them review if it's a um, IRS compliant app that we can go ahead and transfer those transit funds to. Um, so let me check in with our teams and then we'll relay the information to Georgina and Arlene after um, so they can get back to you with that answer. Okay, great. Another question here is, can my partner and I, who both work for UCSF, share one Eden Red card? I, you could. I think the only challenge that we may see is with the loading of the Clipper cards, depending upon how much funding you're both trying to set aside, where you can both take up to $280. If you have one card, it just limits it to one $280 purse, essentially. Um, we typically say each individual should have their own card or account, but where you're married, like other benefits, you may just want to discuss that with your partner and figure out what's the best way. But if you do it separately, you each get to take advantage of those tax savings. Okay, great. And then one thing I just wanted to mention, somebody else chimed in to say that ferry passes, they think can be purchased through Clipper. So FYI on that. Um, and then one question I haven't seen in the chat, but we get asked this a lot. Um, so the IRS sets the limit at 280 per month. How do you purchase parking if you're looking to do the monthly pass, which is $302 per month? How does that work? And Georgina, do you, do you have the, do we do post-tax offerings for your? Yes. Perfect. Yeah, and we recommend for those who are going over the $280, put all, put all your balance requests for funds, just put it all in one month. So you'll get 280 pre-tax, whatever's over that will be post-tax. So that when you're making your, your payment for parking, you're just paying with one credit card or else you have to attach several credit cards to, to, to pay every month. It just makes your life easier. Okay, great. And one question I saw early on, I don't know if it's been answered yet, so I'm going to ask it again. Uh, is fast track slash bridge tolls covered? 
That's a great question. And unfortunately, the answer is no. Um, where the IRS kind of dictates how these funds can be utilized and, and the different trains that are parking, they have not included tolls and bridges and things like that as a part of the eligible expense. So right now, unfortunately, it is not eligible. Okay, and how about parking meters? Yeah, parking meters are a little tricky if they're still accepting cash. Um, I think a lot of them are turning over to more of that digital with the parking apps and things like that. So you can link our debit card to those parking apps um, to use to like secure your reservation. I know for instance, we have groups that use like the Spot Hero app sometimes too. Um, that works well. So yeah, you can definitely download those apps that those parking lots may have and use our debit card as that funding mechanism. All right, we are at 1230 everyone. I want to thank you for spending your lunch with us. I want to thank Jackie and Pam and Arlene so much for, for your presentation for taking care of all those questions. I want to remind you that there are other scoop events coming up. So take a look at the calendars and see which ones fit for you. Um, this webinar is being recorded and we'll post it online in just a little bit of time. Uh, so thank you everyone. Uh, and if you have any more questions for transportation for Eden Red, go ahead and email us at transportation.ucsf.edu or give us a call. Thank you everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks Georgina. Yeah. Thank you Georgina, bye.